Girls to the Strictly Come Dancing Queen. Not only did she win, but she captivated the viewing public with her grace and elegance. It was spectacular. See there, the costumes are just lovely, aren't oh, they? They're that great. is the best bit of doing anything <laughs> to do with Strictly. As you can see, I'm ready to literally go on the stage. <laughs> That's why I'm looking a bit strange at the moment with my glitter. But yeah, to wear those costumes, it's kind of a one-off experience that's never really going to happen again. Mm -hmm. Now, did you dance before you, you were in this competition? I did the kind of, you know, jazz, tap and ballet growing up through school. But no, th this ballroom type thing is... This ballroom type thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so different and you kind of have to get used to, you know, being led and the resistance and there's so much I didn't realize quite how detailed the whole thing would be but I loved it now you're on the Strictly tour which is in Dublin tonight that's right but you were sick this week was yeah. it this week the last couple of days I've been looking forward to the tour for so long and uh, Artem and I sort of got struck down with one of these uh, winter viruses for about a week so we're back and we're so excited to be in Dublin I love it here and we're here tonight two shows tomorrow and on Sunday so we'd love to see you it's a fantastic show lots of variety and uh, yeah I think everyone will enjoy it and uh, is there much training involved I'd imagine you're training Monday to Friday, nine to five, six. It's kind of well. While we were doing the the TV show, it's so there's so much training, and it was kind of that's what's nice about the tour. That after you've done that, you've you know your dances, and you can go out there and enjoy it. So it's not too much training. It's more fun. I think your body changed. Did it a lot? Did you find? Absolutely. I couldn't believe it. The the wardrobe people sort of said at the beginning, we know where, where you'll change, and I thought, really? And uh, it's true, your body just, because you're using muscles you've never used before, and it's just the best way, I recommend it to everyone, you know, for exercise, because do, dancing's fun. Do you yeah. just wake up in the morning and go, oh, I just can't move? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> quite a few times, actually, every week doing the Strictly show, a different part of my body killed, and I thought, oh, goodness, what they put themselves through. <laughs> Pamela, I think, was most visibly changed, wasn't oh over the course of the show with Pamela Stevenson. She looked fantastic by the end. Yeah, and she didn't have any time to go and buy some new clothes and she was clamping her own clothes in <laughs> interviews with big, you know, clamps. And I said, oh my goodness, she just literally would shrink, mm -hmm. you know, every week. Yeah. It was incredible. You hurt your arm as well, did you? Yeah, I, uh, on the, the finale, yeah. um, I tried to do one of Matt's acrobatic moves because I used to do gymnastics, but I hadn't done a backflip since I was about 11, and I just, yeah, hurt my arms, and um, lucky enough, you know, it, it's back to normal now, but um, I came off and I said, I've broken both my arms, <laughs> and my Russian partner said, no, you have not. <laughs> I was very dramatic. Oh, you're very crazy. Dramatic. You're crazy. Yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> you know, the, the, with Strictly, I th I'd say particularly in the beginning for the celebrities who aren't used to that dancing environment, the, the physical closeness of the of the dance partners. I'm sure you all got together, did you, and say this is kind of a, this is a bit weird because you come from yeah. an environment probably where you haven't had to to be to do that. It's yeah, it's really odd actually because um, from being an actress, I'm kind of used to doing uncomfortable things and being thrown into a situation that doesn't feel natural. And I would say this is even harder because you have to really, you know, you have to become so close. And um, yeah, we all, but because we were all together, we kind of all had a bit of a laugh about it and you just get over that very quickly yeah. and get on with it. Yeah. Because we, I suppose we don't know you as Dawn from EastEnders who... You were just absolutely miserable during the whole thing. <laughs> Sorry. No, I, I, I should be saying to myself, I said, there's a couple of fellas back in West Kerry where I'm from who has big farms of land now who would make her very happy. <laughs> That's what I used to say to myself. Now. Dawn should have come over here, really. It would have been a happier for, ending. For, for a new Dawn. Exactly, for a new Dawn. I, yeah. I prefer the way you guys yeah. say it. So I, I hate the name Dawn, but the way you sound Dawn. sounds very nice. Would you go back to EastEnders? Well, I wasn't killed off, yeah. so I could. I sailed off into the sunset so unless that boat has sunk and gone yeah. down you never know mm. i'd love to maybe yeah. one day and uh, th there was a live eastenders was it last month was it the month before the 25th, 20, 25 25th, years 25th yeah last year did they you, did, did a you live. see it i did they had a big party and we all went along and it was absolutely scary to do that lot i mean you guys are used to it yeah. every day <laughs> are we <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and you know th to do that was pretty amazing 
interesting. Mm. interesting. So when you um, have done the tour, um, yes. then your strictly commitment is over. Is that right? Yeah. And then what happens? I'm going to feel so odd because I've been doing this, you know, since August last year. And but you're uh, the champion now. I mean, you have this crown. <laughs> what are you going to do with it? All it's, these doors must open for you. I just really hope that I get to continue dancing because I've just fallen in love with it. And uh, so I'll be going salsa club every Wednesday night, and I might get Artem to, you know, waltz me around the kitchen every now and again <laughs> <laughs> to carry it on. But I don't know. I think um, it's nice, you know, when you've been in a soap like EastEnders, you get called by dawn constantly. And it's lovely that people um, now know my real name. And well, that's it. I mean, there's a whole other side to you that people have seen because you can get typecast once you've oh. been in a, as everybody, yeah. I'm sure every actor knows, once you've been a, a, somebody in a soap, that yeah. can be you. Well, it can. And if I you've mean, done horrible things in the soap, you know, you... You're all doing horrible things in that soap. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, you know, you're being told in the street, leave that married man alone and you're so horrible. And you start to believe it. So it's kind of yeah. nice not to be a horrible person anymore. So, so when, when you left East Enders, then, was there a kind of a lull? Did you say, oh my God, what am I going to do now with my life? Or Yeah, it's always been like that because I started acting when I was about 11. And, you know, you have your... That was just a hobby then and I left school. And, you know, you have your good times and your bad times. But it's lovely that... You know, doing things like Strictly Come Dancing, completely out of the comfort zone and not something I was very comfortable with doing. But um, turns out, you know, it's good to push yourself and do something a bit different because it ends up being the best experience ever. And hopefully I'd love to do some theatre. That's been a massive dream of mine. So, uh, yeah, it kind of opens a few doors possibly. And you're knows? not the only actor in the family, I understand. Yeah, my sister, yeah. My mum and dad probably could have been good actors, but no, my, my dad surely thinks he could have been, but my sister and I have both gone, kind of, taken that road, which is a bit strange. Because your, your sister Hannah's in, is it in... The in-betweeners. Uh, well, the in -betweeners, she's just yeah. been in the in-betweeners, and uh, no, she's doing really well, and it's kind of nice, as long as one of us is working, we're happy. Yeah, is, there, <laughs> is there any competition there between the two of you? Um, well, well, there's a four-year age gap, so we kind of help each other, and um, no, there isn't. We've never been up for the same part. Anyway, I'm... you won Strictly, so it's all over. <laughs> <laughs>